want to run over the question of uh, counterpoise elements, uh, what they are and what they are not. There is a lot of misunderstanding uh, due to various products that are around that um, confuses an antenna booster with uh, an antenna counterpoise. And so we'll just run through what those uh, subtle differences may be. Let's start with the concept of a, what a counterpoise is. A counterpoise, basically, let, to simplify it, replaces the ground plane or improves the ground plane. Uh, let's say, for example, you're on standing on porous ground that is uh, basically it turns itself into a, it's more of a capacitor with regards to your signal and a counterpoise element provides a virtual ground plane and um, they basically are designed so that they are one quarter of the wavelength that you're transmitting on so um, it's simple Basically, a, a counterpoise is simply a long insulated wire that attaches to the ground connection on your antenna's network. That there would be part of my ground network. And um, the best counterpoise is a quarter wavelength of the lowest frequency you intend to use. So um, th that works out to about 50 centimeters for the commercial VHF frequencies. Now, you can see here how this is the negative part of this SMA female adapter and there is the vertical element that, that connects to the rubber duck and uh, that is your tuned antenna. So on this radio we can demonstrate there's the negative battery terminal and here's the negative and we're going to do a continuity test and see what happens between the negatives. If I check continuity between the center tuned element the, of the antenna, there is no continuity between that. So you can see you have, and what's going to happen here is when you use a quarter wave antenna or even a 5 8 but this is a 5 8 let's imagine that this was the quarter wave. The rat tail, as it's often referred to, something like this, then would turn a quarter wave into a half wave dipole. And um, that's, you end up with a system like this where we can't use that antenna because it's an IPX7 that has a sealed base. You take your existing base off and that one's not going to work properly either. With these IPX antennas we often have the base and um, then it goes on. So you're swapping the bases out with the SMA rat tail, for example, like we have. Now you have the counterpoise, which is this, and the tuned element, and you have the dipole. We won't discuss the uh, merits of how effective they are or how well they work, that's a different discussion. They are widely accepted to be an effective adjunct, especially, well, not especially, but they are necessary when you don't have a good ground plane otherwise. If you are in a circumstance where you have a good ground plane established, then they're not really gonna make much difference. So again, porous ground or for example, uh, snowpack, uh, that's another good example of um, where this really comes in handy. You don't have to 
spend much to create your own counterpoise for a rat tail. Something like this can be made for under a dollar and um, this would connect onto your antenna base and go between and that as long as you are making a connection to the grounded part you will notice that on certain antennas like an MX connector you have no access to a ground the way they work uh, indeed with this Motorola that would become difficult and so the question would be with something like the Motorola how am I going to get a counterpoise set up well you're going to have to find some grounded area and fashion some way of doing that whether it was getting at some negative part by finding it on one of the connectors obviously a little more difficult a little more messy and maybe that is why another device comes along and this is called a rat tail as well and I think that there is a misconception that that is a counterpoise it is an antenna booster so it doesn't provide counterpoise or provide the ground plane it provides a boost to your vertical element and it does that by using a technique called capacitive coupling uh, and that allows it to make the connection uh, basically capacitive coupling is the transfer of an energy from one device to another wirelessly if you will and uh, in this case it seems like the rat tail intercepts the radio's projecting frequency and uh, then works with it through a capacitive circuit that provides the boost and the intensity of the red LED apparently is an indication of uh, how much power you are actually managing to capture and boost through this device. So it is not a counterpoise. Uh, I see no reason why perhaps it uh, could work in conjunction with a rat tail. I haven't tested it to see what the results would be and we've had field reports uh, from some search and rescue groups in fact uh, one which donated this to us to have a look at. They weren't seeing much for results with their circumstances. However, just like the rat tails, um, it probably depends on what those circumstances are and how it's being used. In some cases it's probably very helpful and perhaps in other places not. The video on this does have an impressive uh, display of how it affects the signal strength on a signal strength meter that is in very close proximity. Uh, have read that when you're using this type of amplification or boost it doesn't change the radiation pattern so don't expect anything to happen with that regard and um, that's your differences so again uh, for the effective use of a counterpoise style device um, make sure that you get it grounded and uh, I will just show for example how on this radio where you have no antenna and you'll take my you'll have to take my word for it for example if I place a rat tail on a radio like this and it I hit the push to talk with just the rat tail on it will not hit the repeater uh, just as it would be with this. However, if you took this device and you were able to get the signal that is coming out for your vertical antenna, you would, in fact, 
we have our own repeater set up for testing purposes and it's a few kilometers away and I'll show you first of all when I hit the push to talk I'm unable to get the repeater when I add this device there you can hear it has managed to, to get the repeater so those are the difference this boosts your signal from your radiating vertical element and this provides a counterpoise enhances the ground plane and therefore also makes a significant difference to your signal propagation when you are on ground that doesn't provide for a very good ground plane. This is Ron Tessellini. Um, Mr. <laughs> Tessellini, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs>